Two shocking arrests and the murders of three children, a 12-year-old girl and 8-year-old twin boys found dead in their West Hills home. Their mother and a teenager is now in custody. A family tragedy rocking a San Fernando Valley neighborhood. And those three young children found dead on Mother's Day and their own mother and a 16-year-old now accused. We have live team coverage in this shocking case. We begin this afternoon with KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal with the latest on the investigation now. Jasmine. Yeah, and many questions still remain tonight in regard to that investigation, such as how and when were the children killed here inside of this home and why. This, as neighbors say, it was obvious that their mother was not in their right mind hours before their bodies were found. A pink welcome sign hangs on the window. A pile of bikes lay in the driveway, all signs that a family lived here. But now this West Hills home is the scene of a grisly murder investigation. This is really, really sad. Kids don't deserve to die. You know, they didn't have a chance at life. Neighbors came to pay their respects and leave flowers after hearing police officers found the bodies of three kids inside this home Sunday morning. Oh, I'm very upset about it. I don't, I don't know them personally, but I'm a mother myself. The LAPD says their mother, 38-year-old Angela Flores, admitted to killing her children, a 12-year-old girl and 8-year-old twin brothers, with help from a 16-year-old at the home. Flores was arrested for three counts of murder and booked at the Van Nuys Jail. The 16-year-old was arrested for one count of murder and booked without bail at the Silmar Juvenile Hall. I just felt so sad in my heart. We just celebrated Mother's Day. But it's unclear if this horrific crime could have been prevented. A timeline of events shows on Sunday, May 8th, 1248 a.m., the Los Angeles Fire Department responded to a woman needing help near her home on Victory Boulevard. She was admitted to West Hills Hospital but released at an unknown time that same day. At 7.45 a.m., police get the 911 call about an assault with a deadly weapon and found the three bodies of the children. Later at 9.10 p.m., police booked the suspect, Angela Flores, into the Van Nuys Jail. The LAPD has not been able to say if Flores returned home after being released from the hospital and if police ever checked on her children after neighbors say she was acting erratically hours prior. I heard someone screaming, my family is abusing me and all kinds of nonsense. I couldn't really make out what it was. Was burning a candle, had a Bible out. Neighbors say a teenage boy lived in the home and that he was the one who first alerted authorities. They say the family had just moved in a couple of months ago. Edelson Hernandez Castro said he played with the kids over the backyard fence a few times. They kind of just threw uh, like uh, stuffed animals at us and then like we kind of threw it back and kind of like tossed it around and talked about, you know, what they mostly do, what games they play. He hadn't seen the family in recent weeks, but he says he never imagined something like this could happen. And back out here live, we do have an update as now sources within the LAPD are confirming that the mother was picked up at that hospital on Sunday morning. She never returned here to the home after that 911 call was made and then police arrived here to find the bodies. It is still unclear, though, exactly when the children were killed. Flores, by the way, is being held on $6 million bail. Live here in West Hills, I'm Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. Jasmine, thanks so much.